I'm here today to teach you how to make this wonderful dress. I know you can do it. This is my inspirational TV. We are here to inspire each other in every ramification of life. Wait, sit down, don't move, watch to the end. I love you. You can do it if I can do it. Hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, my brothers and my sisters. How are you doing today? I know you all are fine to the glory of the Lord. Yes, today I'm here, but not to talk, but to encourage you that think that you, you there is nothing for you to do. I'm going to encourage you there is something that I know that you can do as a woman. I'm here to inspire you to do something as a woman. Hallelujah. Proverbs 30, 31 verse 10. He says, who can find a virtuous woman? For her prize is priceless. Proverbs Proverb 27 verse 7. He says, iron sharpens iron. That's why I'm here today to sharp your iron. Hallelujah. So today, I'm going to be teaching you how to create your own business yourself at home or how to make your dress yourself at home. I'm going to be doing it in this channel too. I'm here to inspire you in many things that you have not yet know about. Okay? So, we are going to be making jacket something similar but not this way i make my dress myself i make this myself so i can use this to wear like different clothes i can put this uh, this just jacket on top of this i can wear it with red tomorrow i can wear it with green tomorrow i can wear it with purple tomorrow all is about what you can do with your hand you you don't need big money to do that and if you as a woman if you if you are not independent you are you are independent woman you are a woman that can bring something home you're a woman that can do something you see your husband will be happy no matter what even though it's just little money you bring out of it is very important i am here to encourage you that you can do all things you that is interested in fashion, in sewing, I'm here to inspire you. We'll be encouraging each other here. We'll be encouraging each other to work, to sew, to do a lot of things here. And you will hear my music here. So let's start. When you're going to start sewing, you need a tape. This is where I, I always keep my things. You need your tape. Sorry, since it's sewing we are doing, I have to keep this here. Yes. You need a tape. You need scissors. So I have my two scissors with me. This video is going to be long, but you have to be patient, okay? We need scissors. You need colored. Or maybe you have chalk. Something that you can use to mark your clothes. You need it. You need a paper, like a book that you can use to take your measurements. A notebook that you are not using to do any other thing that you can use to take your measurements. You need a, a, a pin. This is pin. Maybe as a beginner, you want to pin something that you are doing so that you don't make mistakes. As a beginner, it's very important to pin your clothes when you're sewing. Okay, you need pin. This is oil to, uh, to oil the machine. So, that is it for this area. So, you need biro when you are taking your measurements. I have the rubber that I keep my things. Here is things that I bought. That I'm using these are zips you can buy it and keep it if for example as a woman maybe you're not working your husband give you money 
you can just somebody is coming from home you can send them can you buy a lot of zip for me because it's it's cheaper there okay this one is um gun stay they call it gun stay they use it to do when we get to that level you will know what we use it for okay there are a lot of things that that this is rubber you need thread in everything you are doing you need thread that is it it's level by level when you the things you are not know you don't know don't worry it's gradually home is not built a day okay this is what you can use to turn cloth they call it bias so it has different color that i bought i always keep it because i like to make my fashion myself maybe the kind of one you will you want to have in the store maybe it's not your size you're disturbing yourself oh my god woman you can make it yourself as a woman you can make it it's not hard if you put more effort you can do it okay so this is like a design that you can put a stone you can put on your cloth but we are not using it let me not take your time with all these things because we are not using it now so the the half jacket we are going to be making we are going to use this material you see the way it's beautiful we are going to be using this material it's just a yard, a yard plus that is what we are going to be using and you need to have a table in your house you can use your dining table it doesn't really matter so you need machine sewing machine you need sewing machine you see when you have sewing machine this is where you can sew from let me plug it so now I have to on it here you see I put the thread here so when you different type of sewing machine have different type of threading so anyone you bought you can't thread it just post it and tag me I'm going to show you how to do it okay I'm here for you for everything you don't know that you want to know I'm here for you just ask when you are ashamed of something you can never know so you need to ask so now first and foremost we are going to take our measurements so this measurement you are going to learn how to take your own measurement yourself okay i have to start you have to learn how to take your measurement yourself so you take the the tape we're using the the centimeter so you take the tape you have to take the side that starts with two not the if it is the big one that will start with one you take it and put it in your bust like this you can measure yourself you hold it like this you check how many is it 120 bust you will write it down bust 120 so you will need the length so because there is nobody to measure for me you take your you take your tape you take your tape you have to take it to the place you want it to reach so me i want it to reach to my knee so you take it and make sure it this way you see so the length that i have here is 100 inches so you write it down the length the full length 100 
and you have to measure your hip. You measure around your hip because it's good to measure because you can be slim, I can be fat. So you have to measure so that you not made mistake of someone that you are sewing for. My hip is one twenty five. So hip. 125 you have to write it down because i'm not sewing here so i don't need to measure my hands because it's just something like this that i'm i'm going to use to wear this my black that i sew so i have a lot of this that i normally wear maybe you have big a little bit big tummy that you don't want you want to sew what can fit you you can do it yourself at home i'm telling you so that is what we need for this and we'll be needing our shoulder when you are at home you take your shoulder like this when you are alone you start from two you take it to your shoulder side so you take your shoulder you take it here you see where it ends that is where you're going to end it. Okay? So, how many you see there? You're going to write it down. So, here is 21. You put down 21. Okay? So, now, sorry you cannot be seeing my face for now. So, now we have the measurements. This is the cloth we are going to use. You take it this way. You fold it into two. Now it's into two. As you can see, it's two. So you have to fold it with the back. You have to use the wrong side to bring it out when you are going to cut. You place it on your table. You bring it this way. Are you seeing it? This way. If you don't understand it, you can talk to me. We'll go again next time. Okay? So, we don't need... the. This is the, the side way. This side that is two sides is what we are going to be using for the front so now because the back did not need to be open but if you want to open it to shape it you can shape it but me i don't want to open mine so now we have to take the 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 measurements and calculate the simple way I'm going to be teaching you is that you take it two, two ways because because you just a, a first learner you take it like this and take those that way to your side those two you see the way it will be this one this one will be down why this place that is not open will be at the up okay so our measurement we are going to be needing it because it's a dark cloth that is not too sharp i'm going to be using the yellow one so now the bust is 120 because we are using centimeter 120 divided by 4 120 anything you are doing you have to divide it by 4 when we are making dress 
when we are making dress we divide everything by four unless maybe you want to make six pieces or maybe you want to make six pieces gun is then you will not need you will you not be dividing it into six or maybe eight pieces skirt eight pieces gun no but if it is not eight pieces skirt and eight pieces gun so all this you are dividing it by four okay so now we'll take the measure the length of the shirt first the full length was 100 so we take the 100 you take it to where 100 is you mark you will mark it okay now we are taking the shoulder because the cloth is going to be bogus so that if you want to pull beds you can use beds you can leave it to be free so the shoulder is 21 why the shoulder was 21 because we didn't measure it full sorry we didn't measure it full this way the shoulder instead of the back i'm using the front we didn't measure it full this way so because we take it one side from the back we take it one side that's why it was it was 21 because this two side supposed to be 42 so we take one side so the two side this side plus this side it will be 42 so now we are using one side to cut it because the two sides are before as we have folded it already so you don't use four to measure shoulder you don't divide shoulder into four you divide shoulder into two if you measure the full if you measure the half you just take it that way it might look a little bit confused to you now don't worry it's a process okay you're going to know just put more effort and say god help me it will help you you will see very soon you'll be sewing for people you will be happy even yourself if you make for yourself you will be happy so you take the 21 you measure it at the top of your clothes 21 you see 21 that is what we are taking from here so that 21 in this area you're going to use your you're going to use your tape your your chalk to mark the 21 so that you will not make mistake it's very important to mark the 21 because this 21 we are going to be shaping it you just had like half inches to it so that even as a beginner i would prefer you to add add like one inches to it so the bust that we measure was 120 so 120 divided by four is 30. so now from that shoulder to the bust you measure it or oh, for you not to be confused let me show you something as a beginner for you not to be confused you take from your shoulder and measure it to your bust like this you measure okay so my bust is 29 you take it so you take from your shoulder from that shoulder you have to measure one inches away before you start measuring that 21 that you're going to take you measure 21 down okay here is 21 because we are going to be if for example is going to be peplum gun that 21 we have to add to it but this one is just straight that way you can leave it because we are not going to be cutting here okay you leave it for that 21 you have to mark so that you not made mistake when you always made mis when you always mark 
you will not make mistake okay so from that bus that you mentioned i want you to be seeing it well but it's where okay from that bus you take it this way don't say you can't do it you will do it okay it's not it's not difficult it's just for you to put more effort from that shoulder that you measure you will take it down to the to the bust place that you measure you draw a straight line you draw a straight line when you draw a straight line so this uh, boss area you take it the boss is starting so it's here now that you make sure you not get our bust because if we did not if we did not take here to measure from here to here and we'll go and measure here as the bust you will see it will be tight so you have to really get your bust so our bust was 120 after taking here now we're going to be measuring the bust so the bust is 120 so 120 divided by 4 always remember is by 4 is 30 you take your tape to that place and look for 30 this is 30 you keep it that way you make sure you make sure 30 so as you measure 30 you have to keep one inches or two inches for your sewing that you are going to use so you take it and say you leave like one inches away you see it's not difficult so now from that place that bust to that shoulder is going to be a hump or so that hump or you're going to as you're taking it straight you have to take one inches away from that corner you take one inches away and just draw it will bring that line this way you it will not bring the curve like this for the hump hole it's not difficult but you can see you can you can do it i'm telling you let me use yellow let me use orange if you can get the color with now you now have like this shape because we do it straight here before here is the bust can you see it that is the way it is now we've gotten the bust so from the bust to the hip you have to take the length the full length and you use the the remaining place you use it you use the hip and measure the remaining place the hip is 25 25 divided by 4 is 31.3 so you, you 31.3 you take 31.3 31.3 is this way you just take a mark you see it so you take two inches and add to it that is it it's not difficult when you put more effort it's not difficult so now what we are going to be doing is to we are finished measuring it is a simple gun so now we we have to take the the neck the neck we are going to be using three you measure seven in inch you measure seven you put it here so to the down you take seven and take it down you just curve it you curve it this way 
you see the way I curve it? Let me show it to you. You have to curve it this way. So, from there to that shoulder, the one inches we take, we have to draw it down. I understand the first time is going to be as if you are playing. But when you replay it and replay it and replay it and put more practice on it, you will get it. You will see that it's not difficult. So now we need our scissors. So here is the neck. When I'm cutting it, you will be understanding what I'm doing. So now, this is the shoulder we curve. So here is the amp hole that will cut. It will be this way. Are you seeing it now? Are you seeing it? The way it is now. You see the neck? This is the hand hole. So when you're not when you are not a big person maybe your arm hole will still be smaller than that so we we are not big we are highly blessed so your armpit or your hand hole can still be bigger okay so this place we have to cut it this is the side is not difficult is because it's your first time it will just look somehow don't worry when you put it to practice you can do it it's just gradually okay so now we have cut all this you see this is going to be the back you see the way it is already this we are going to be using it this one for the back this is going to be for the back So you take it one side. But if you are a beginner now, where you what you need, don't try to do it and just keep it that way. You have to take your pin. Okay, here will be the front that I'm going to fold. Okay, I don't want you to scatter. You take pin and hold it together. Be careful with your hand. You hold it together, you take pin like this and hold it together. So that time is not going to be open. Now you, you use pin to hold it so that you will not miss where you're supposed to sew. So that is it for the cutting. This cutting is very easy is very very so easy so this there is nothing that is waste wastage where i am i use everything like this you can use it to make 
like your packer you can use it to make those things okay so this is it so we're going to be going to the machine we're going to try the 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 machine i'm going to show you how to try the machine we just join it together this one is very simple believe me guys believe me it's so simple so this one is the front because the front we want the shape here to be a little bit more more beautiful sorry for the mess so this is the hump of the front we want it to be a little bit shape so you take you have to measure please half inch you take it in you don't have to touch the front you see I've separated the front from the back so it will be like this you see the hump off you see the shape as it is so that is it guys so we're going to be treading the machine for this cloth because of the color I'm going to be using black because when you see when you sew this with black is very good with it you have to look the color you want to sew and see see is it goes with it this cloth can go with different different type of trade different trade different black can go with different clothes so you can decide to say you want to use black as far as yours but it's preferable to use the color that is good to this so this one is a, is a simple cloth, but because it's the first time, it's going to be somehow stressful to you. But don't worry. And this video is long, but don't worry. So, after we finish making this, my next tutorial would be girls that like to take handbag that you make yourself, like a handbag post or if you know something that is difficult for you to do to sew that you can sew just send it to me and say sister can you make this can you do this i will help you out okay we help each other iron sharpness iron so now we're going to be going to the machine you keep this you see i have to hold it with pin even though i remove it i will still get where it is as a beginner please you have to do this so that is it guys it's not difficult you can do it I trust you so this is the machine we're going to be bringing the machine up now so this is the front of the machine this is the back of the machine so when you are when you are going to sew, you use the front of the machine. So in, inside the machine, this is the front. Inside, there is this ruler that is inside that you have to read thread. So now I've read the thread. The place they read the thread is here. You read the thread here 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 is where you take the the thread you take it this way different type of machine with different method so if your machine is not like mine just send it to me check one of my video you will see my youtube my facebook page just send it to me sister can you help me with this i will help you okay with that 
so now the thread is not much so i have to reel but now I, i'm going to use this you keep it inside that is it and your needle you just place it here and put the needle inside so when you finish putting the needle inside you see you have a presser this is where you control the machine you have to use your leg to control it and when you are controlling it take it easy so that as a beginner so that you will not sew your hand okay you take it you see this place in this machine this place is where we are going to be rolling it down okay roll it down this way you see the other thread that is inside will come out of it you take it this way You close and you take this and add to it so before we start sewing I have to take something like a pieces to check if the machine can sew good if it don't have any problem for me to fix I have to try it out okay now is good to sew you take please don't use hand <laughs> use scissors you see so it can sew now what you are going to be doing now so now we take the back of the cloth that we've cut this is the back so the back you take this is the front you open the front you see because we hold it with because we hold it with a, a needle it's not going to open so you put the wrong side together The wrong side together when you put the wrong side together it will be like this so now what you're going to do you take the two shoulder of the wrong side you go to the machine it has to be the wrong side both together you can see You join the two long sides together. You take this, then this one up to take it. You use your scissors. Let me take my scissors, sorry. You use like, your scissors to cut. And you take the other wrong side and the two wrong sides together, you sew together. It must be the two wrong sides, okay? You take the two wrong sides together. Anything that is difficult for you, call on me. I'm here for you. You are there for me, okay? You see? So, 
So after we finish doing it, after we finish joining it together, you see it has started taking shape. Because we pin the front, so you cannot see the shape now. So if you are the type of person that wants it to open in the front, the simple way now because we have joined it, you can take away the pin. You cannot make any mistake now. Okay, if you are the type of person that like the front to be like V or so, you take the both side. You see, this is the neck. Of the two sides that we have joined together so I take it like this that is the hand hole you take the two side you put it down maybe you think if you cut it with it you made the mistake you put it down like this you just pin it here you take it V to the place you want so you can wear something inside or let's do that now let me show you so you just take the place you want maybe you want it to be V you have to make sure it and take it to the neck area so here we now have another, the front we now have something curved in the front, like something like this, but no real. So now, this, you can use, decide to use other color to design it. But today, I'm going to just sew it that way. I'm not going to use any color. So now we have to take it, we have to sew it round. Or you can decide to use bias if you want to use bias. You can decide to use bias as a beginner, it will be okay. But now I'm not using bias. You just take it and sew all round. Don't worry, I understand you. At the beginning is going to look a little bit rough as if you are watching a wrong movie but gradually you you will get it and you will love it that you can make dress for yourself even you can make for your husband I'll teach her to make for your husband okay so and when you are sewing always shift your hand and you sew the right side to the wrong side. You see it? The right side, you sew it to the wrong side. It's not difficult. Don't worry. When I new started it, when I new started learning how to sew, I said no, I can't do it. But later, I began to love it. I start making my, I start doing my shoe. I start making my handbag. I start making my packer, making my hair band. A lot of things that I'm going to show you. Okay. <laughs> That you can do yourself you can go to a store and see the material you want that is so cheap you just buy it and say i want to make paper shirt for myself i want to make cloth for my daughter your own design
when you are a beginner anything you are doing don't rush don't rush gradually don't rush gradually gradually you're going to do it how to uh, learn how to sew straight so that it will be neat this way you have to keep on doing it you have to keep on doing it practice make perfect keep on doing it when you are a, a woman that stays at home when your husband has leave the house if you don't have money maybe in your area they have like street market or they have a place that you can see cheap material buy and start practicing it look for a machine there are cheap machine everywhere even though it's even though you want to buy fairly used machine who cares as a woman we, we are women of dignity we are women of substance a woman that can hurt to our husband we are a blessing to our home okay you can do it we we'll continue to sew it round. So you keep on sewing. This is the neck area. You can this. There are two ways that you can make this. You can put sharp design so that if you want to, maybe anywhere you are, you just want to get that attention or that color. You can do it. Okay, as a as a womb as women that we are, we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. Do you know that when you make a, a, a gun for your daughter? For Christmas, for even to go out, nobody will know that you're the one that make it. Sometimes we say this is our own fashion, our own fashion. Let me tell you one thing. Your fashion is the best for you. You can bring out your fashion. Those things that we are calling fashion is somebody that bring it. You can make yours too. You can make fine skirt for your daughter. You can make fine a, a, a trouser for your husband, for your son. I will show you that. Let me tell you one thing, as a woman, we have to be bicycle, we have to have a lot of things in our teeth that even when our husband will feel that, ah, my wife knows this, they will, even another one, they will, they will see that we know, they will be shocked. Okay? So we should try to learn. L let's learn from each other. Let's learn from each other. Iron sharpness, iron. I have to show you all that's why i'm just doing it this way and you have to be washing especially the clothes that is like not stable like this you why i say not stable there are strong material this is like sink material When you are folding it, you take it this way, you come like this, you see, you take it this way and in. If you don't understand the area of treading and all, just write, please, can you do the treading area again? In your comments, I will be happy to do that. Because we have to sew everything round.
Don't say you don't have a place that you are using. You can use your dining. As I am now, you can use your dining. You can use a place in your room. You can use any place. Okay? You can use any place. I will show you how to be your own fashion designer. Don't worry. So that is it, guys. We've, we've sew the front side together. As you can see, all is neat. You see, it's so neat. This is the front. We have to push it to the back. So now, what we are going to be doing is to take the arm hole and fold it. This is the hand hole. We are going to take the hand hole and fold it. You see the way I fold it? You take this way, you take it like this. You see? You push it again. Now, this way. You see it's, it will be okay. You hold it with your hand and push it to the machine. Be careful with your hand, okay? You push two together, you drop the so Let me draw it nearer so that you see. You push it this way. You see? This is inspirational, my inspirational TV. We are here, I'm here to inspire you of every area that you need. God said, freely we receive, we give it out freely. Anything you don't know, just show me. I'm here, I don't want to do any other thing like hide it. That's why as a Christian, when we still want to help somebody, you use this no magic. Don't go and be hiding it for, for and, and tell the person you, you've put magic already, use this. But you put the real magic, you hide it. As a Christian, we should not do that. When we say we are going to help, we are going to show people things, let's be real with it. Even though it will take time, but let's be real with it. Let's show all the true things that we know. Don't hide it. Because when you are hiding it, God is not blessing you. Because God will be looking your motive towards that. Sometimes if your machine is sanding rough, you know it needs oil. You have to oil it. when you can sew you can sew for people and collect some money as a virtuous woman you 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 will still be a blessing even though you don't do it for money you are going some occasion you are going out you say sweetheart i'm going to use my gun to make a shirt for you and your bow tie i'll make it for you you make for your children you see the man will be happy the man will be happy you made your pillowcase your own design you make it very beautiful you made your cutting very beautiful you made it the way you like mm -hmm. 
Sometimes take a frame and design it to the way you want. Design your home. Let your home be beautiful. Let your things be beautiful that you are doing. You see? Now we we'll, we we'll do the ham all together. You see the way it is? It's so straight. So now we are going to be taking the other side. You'll be understanding it gradually. You see the hand pole we just did? So it's going to be like this when we join it. So now we're going to be doing the other side. Very, very simple. Very, very simple. So this is the other side, we do it the same way we did the other side. Don't be tired to learn, we as a woman, as a woman or as a man, anyone that is trying to learn something, don't be too quick to be tired. That thing that you are tired, try to push more. Push more. So now, because I did not add too much measurement to this cloth, so I'm going to be taking those two arms of, of the same side together. I'm going to be joining them together. Now my machine. So we're going to be joining them together. But if you are not convinced of what you are doing, take your measurement. Take it to round your arm hole and hold it and see how many it will give to you. But me, I am using 124. So I join it together. your own design you will be happy maybe you like big big materials you like Gucci you like this you like that you can cut material and sew the same style you you see in that is costly. The Bible says we should be modest. Modest is not only the area where we dress. It's all area. In our spending, in our living, in our home, we should be modest. Does that mean we should not look good? No, you look good. As a Christian, we are the ones that are supposed to be looking good more. But you should be modest. Be modest. Don't buy too much things that it can make your husband to be something you want to use it one day. No, as a woman, we don't do that. <laughs> I'm controlling it with the controller. If you push it more, you see now it didn't sew anymore because the thread inside is no more. So what we have to do is to take this 
aus. And you open here. You take out the ruler. This this you see there is no more thread inside. So what you have to do is to take the thread. Sorry, I always do that because if I'm sewing. I'm very fast to use my hand on my mark to cut the thread. So here is where we reel. You see, here is where we reel it. So you, when you when you put the the, you put the thread, you push it this way. So now you hold the thread. Now I'm using the controller. It has to be so now that I've, I've finished rolling it you put it inside before you put it inside let me show you you take it this way you take your 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 shuttle and your ruler you put it the inside you see it you will see like something here like there is a line you take it inside here you draw it down you take it down to go like this so you put it inside and press it go in so now the thread you have to put it here please use use um scissors so that you will not enjoy yourself so you put the thread inside inside the needle and bring it out okay so now i put the needle you lock it back that is it guys so now we have to take it and start sewing again you see this one is up you take it down look this here is down now if it's up you have to bring it down if not it's not going to sew this is not what I can do you can do it say to yourself say I can do it we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us okay sew the other side now we are going to sew the next side now we're going to take the two side of the hand all together the wrong two side we're going to take it together and measure your armpit that you you you, you measure the place you measure around your armpit you put it that way don't divide it just put it that way if it is nine measure from the shoulder to your arm or nine okay 
I'm going to be showing you the real, real way to make dress here. I don't know it all, but the little I know, you will learn from me. That's why you don't need to be ashamed to ask. Anything you don't know, ask me. Tag me with it. Send me a message. Put it down in the comments. If you feel that no is what you need to show me special, write to me on my Facebook, Div Daniel. Watch my page on my YouTube channel, my Inspirational TV. You're going to get my Facebook page there. You write to me, okay? Very soon, I'm going to put my Twitter account and I'm going to put anywhere you can reach me from. But you can reach me from Facebook Messenger. So, or you put it down below what you don't understand. don't really take time but because as a beginner you need to learn from the beginning you need to learn from the beginning don't say it's too long go but learn please learn I'm here to help you you are there to help me learn don't be too lazy to learn That is better to give than to receive. Sometimes we expect people to be, we expect people to be giving us. We don't want to give. Uh, those things we know we are hiding it. Somebody will come to you, teach me how to make clothes. You will hide the real way you cut it, and you want to show that person the difficult way so that it will be difficult for that person. That is not the way God behave. You somebody come to you, show me how to cook soup. You are hiding the things you use. You are showing that person the wrong way. It's no good as a Christian. Somebody say, show me this business. You are showing that person the wrong way so that you feel that that person will not come and pass you tomorrow. Let me tell you one thing, whether you like it or not, the person that God gave to you is for you. The person that God gave to that person is for that person. Whether you like it or not, the person you bless can be the person that can bless you too. The person that you help can be if you if you sow and you let you teach somebody around you. Do you know that you, you people can have a contract and take it together? It will be easy. That's why it's good to help each other, not to hide things that you know from people. They, you see some people a cloth that you can learn how to sew for six months, eight months. Some people are there for four years. Why? Because you don't really want to bring the real side out. No, that is not the way we, it is as a Christian. We have to be real. Stop hiding things as a Christian. How are you different from the world? How, what is the difference between you and the world? There is no difference when you are hiding it. It's not good as a Christian. We should stop that. As women, we have to help ourselves. <laughs> So you take scissors and cut it. So I have to pull my jacket so that I can wear it for you guys when I finish. So this is the last side, the damp part. You take it 
the way I told you, you see, it's rough this way. You take it like this, you come like this, you do it this way. You drop it at the machine, you sew. So we are done, guys. That is it. So what I have to do, I have to wear it now so that you can see. It's very simple. Don't worry. Even though you don't know it, wash it over and over again. Practice it. You can see a cheap clothes in your area. Go to like, if you have a, a, a street market in your area, go, you will see some new new material they, they, they bring. You can buy like two years to be practicing. Every time you be practicing it, you will see it will come. This is very simple because there are a lot of things that I'm going to do today. I'm going to show you the zip, show you the that, cut, do that. So this video is very long, but don't worry, it's benefit, okay? We should not look at that. We should not look at the quick, quick action. So I have to wait for you guys to see. So guys, this is the finish up of our clothes. Do you see the way it is? You can rock it this way. You can decide to remove your bed and rock it the way you deem fit. You can decide to rock it this way. That is it, guys. If you like this, like, share, press the notification bell so that you'll be the first to know when I upload. Okay? Bye-bye. When you want to know how I make the black that is under just put it down below okay i'm going to make it for you to see you can make your fashion yourself don't complain i go to market i'm too big i'm too fat i'm too days there is no size of mine you can do it the way you like it you saw it outside there you love it you can make it yourself you can decide to make this one long you can decide to make it short depends on the way you want it I love you. Remember, Jesus love you more. You can do it through Christ that strengthens you. Bye. This is the finished top, the finished work of our clothes. As you can see, it's not looking bad. You can rock it anywhere you want to go. You can decide to remove the bed and rock it. You see, you can remove the bed and just rock it. If you want to know how I make the black inside, just write it down below i will let you know you can put even the black you can sew pink you can decide i want to sew this as a black different way of short jacket like this you can do it very simple yourself okay take care we are meant to inspire each other bye bye like subscribe press the notification bell so that you'll be the first to know when I upload, bye-bye.